you've got the um, the steel member being fabricated. That's going to be that's going to form part of the um, the temporary fix for the Auckland Harbour Bridge. So it, it's the lower half of the damaged truck. Obviously, that will be replaced with uh, with with this truck. And um, the guys have been working pretty hard for the, ever since last night. They've done double shift and then come back this morning back into the uh, into the workshop to try and tidy things up. And uh, basically, it's, they've put the whole thing together. And it's a rolling process where the welding is being done. The final welds are being put on. And there's a welding inspector checking it. As we go. So it's a it's a heavy duty 457 OD pipe, 12mm wall grade 350. I asked my fabricators, my subcontractors, to find a pipe to the suppliers that we've got on, on hand. And uh, we basically scoured the country top and bottom, and we managed to find the pipe in a, in a supply, at a supplier's place in Taranaki. So it, it came on Sunday, uh, special delivery from Taranaki, from the uh, Pipes New Zealand, the main supplier of the uh, big pipes of that specification. So the people have been bending over backwards to, to help us in this and getting this done on time. Uh, Vulcan Steel cut the plates for us on Saturday. The pipe came up Sunday and we were able to uh, get straight into it on Monday morning. And what you basically see now is a pipe welded with other bits and pieces, plates together, which will form part of the lower and the top connection um, that basically gets slotted into the, uh, into the lower half of the, of the damaged strut. They've got a clear picture to work towards and um, then it's just a case of making sure the creation comes up, how the model how the model looks and how the jigsaw puzzle fits together basically. So the permanent fix would obviously require the entire strut to be replaced top to bottom so it functions the way it's supposed to in, in heavy loading conditions. We're just proud to play our part in getting the, getting the motorways moving again.